First off, I'd like to thank the Chargé d'Affaires, Ms. Jessica Long. Um, I'd also like to thank the Honorable Franz Pompey, uh, Minister of Defense, for welcoming us to Nambia. Uh, the USS Herschel Woody Williams um, is really pleased to be in this port and to uh, be able to come in pierside and test uh, our ability to, to make future visits. Um, it's an honor to be here, um, one of the first ships in over 10 years to make a visit and a call to Namibia, um, and especially a vessel of this size, which does not easily fit into most ports along the uh, western coast of Africa. Um, I appreciate the hospitality of the port authority, the government, and um, the local Namibian Navy representatives that have been here working with us. Um, as I said earlier, this ship is the first ship assigned to U.S. Africa Command's area of responsibility. This is a testament to the United States' commitment of being ready and willing partner with Namibia, as well as other coastal African nations, in promoting a healthy maritime environment and security. The United States and Namibia have a proud history of working together. Namibia has been a steady participant in the annual Obigame Express exercise, whose objective is to increase multilateral communication and security against our mutual maritime threats. Meeting and working alongside our African partners during this deployment has been an enriching experience, where we have learned not only how to operate at sea together, but discuss solutions for West Africa's maritime security issues. We will be looking forward to a, a, what we call a passing exercise with the Namibian Navy on our departure from this port tomorrow. We look forward to continuing our mission. And once again, uh, the Herschel Woody Williams appreciates the hospitality and camaraderie that we have developed in this port. Thank you. I'd like to introduce uh, the Chargé d'Affaires to come up for her comments. Thank you. Am I loud enough? Can people hear me? All right. Um, well, I do want to begin by thanking all of our distinguished guests. Uh, particularly, I want to acknowledge we have the Namibian Minister of Defense and Veteran Affairs, the Honorable Franz Kapothi, for being in attendance. We have Rear Admiral, we have the Mayor of Walvis Bay, this, and we have leadership, local leadership of police, um, of various ministries, all protocol observed, but I just want to acknowledge there's such a diverse group of people here today, and we really appreciate because it's a testimony to the breadth of our relationship with Namibia as well as the depth. I also want to thank, of course, the captain um, and his crew for hosting us on board. It took a lot of work um, on the part of a lot of sailors and a part of a lot of embassy staff to make this happen. I'm, I'm very, very appreciative. It's particularly fun for me because I am also a Navy wife. My husband had retired from the Navy a couple of years ago. Um, and though I may now have, with this tour, I may now have more sea time than he did. He was an independent duty corpsman who spent most of his career um, uh, with the special operations community. The USS um, Herschel Woody Williams is named in honor of a 22-year-old Corporal Herschel Williams, a Marine who served on Iwo Jima in the Second World War. He was awarded the Medal of Honor, which is the nation's highest honor, for heroism above and beyond the call of duty. Corporal Williams retired, but then he rejoined the Marine Corps after the war to continue his service to the, to the country. In his wake, he left a long legacy of service, and this vessel, which carries his name, is continuing this legacy of service. Shortly after its commissioning in March of 2020, the USS Herschel Woody Williams was given the honor of becoming the first U.S. naval vessel permanently assigned to the Africa Command Area of Responsibility, as the captain highlighted. Since then, it's participated in port visits and bilateral exercises with many African nations. We're honored that the Woody Williams is here in the port of Walvis Bay and grateful for the unwavering support of the Namibian government to include the office of the president, which made this port visit possible. The United States and Namibia share a long history of security cooperation, be it demining operations following independence to humanitarian aid and participation in the Obangame Express exercise series. And this cooperation extends beyond the military realm to security more broadly, 
We hope that this port visit will represent only the most recent installation of this partnership and lay the foundation for future engagement. This morning, sailors from the, Woody, from the USS Herschel Woody Williams and the Namibian Navy met on a local field for a friendly game of football. At least I hope it was a friendly game of football. Um, from what I heard, both teams played their hearts out and maybe the Namibians snuck in a few professionals to their ranks. Um, but, um, but even these sorts of um, fun exercises are, are really important, I think, to building the camaraderie between our navies um, and, and between our countries. Tomorrow, the NS Brendan Simbawe will conduct a passage exercise and escort the um, USS Herschel Woody Williams from Namibian territorial waters. During this exercise, the ships will conduct communication drills and practice an at-sea rendezvous with joint maneuvers. Exchanges like these afford our two nations the opportunity to not only showcase our interoperability, but also lay the foundation for deeper partnership and collaboration. The presence of the Woody Williams highlights our nation's shared commitment to ensuring safety, security, and freedom of navigation on the high seas, not only in Namibian territorial waters, but in the South Atlantic as well. Our commitment to these principles is resolute, as they are vital to ensuring economic prosperity of Namibia and its ability to access global markets. I hope that this week's port visit will be the first of many in years to come, and that these visits will fuel closer cooperation, enriching not only our bilateral security cooperation, but also the prosperity and security of both of our nations. Thank you very much. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to confirm that indeed um, we were requested for this vessel to dock here or to pay a visit and uh, we don't see why it should not be allowed to come to the port of Walfus Bay which is an international port. It's a port that we we are invested in, we are working hard to ensure that this port becomes the port of call for international vessels and indeed vessels of our friends. So we are very much honored that this large vessel from the United States Navy is here paying a courtesy and we think that it has put Walfish Bay port in the in the map of the navigation map of the world. Perhaps there are people who do not know very well about Walfish Bay, or they have not paid attention to the capabilities of our port and our port managers and our navy here. I think it, the presence of this vessel will send a clear message to everyone to say. No matter how large your vessel is, Walfish Bay is ready for you. So thank you very much for coming, Captain, and your colleague. The experience that you have here have you, on this ship is experience that we have at the Minister of Defense. It's a Minister of Defense. When you come there, in some floors you find the whole guys in military fatigue, and in some places you... From Norway, you'll find guys in ties and suits and skirts and all this. So it's not really a new experience, but we are happy to see it here. Once again, thank you and stay. have a good stay in Walters Bay. The Navy commander is here. They are under instruction to work with you, to learn from you. I'm very impressed by what I've seen here. And I think our Navy commander is probably... He's probably now making a list of things to bring to me because he has seen <laughs> what, 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 what other navies are capable of doing. Once again, thank you and welcome to Namibia. Thank you.